I swear to God, I hate you. And she's like, you need to get out. Like, I want you to leave. And I'm like, leave? No, like, I'm here for my group project. She's upset at this point. She leaves and she's talking to another teacher in the hallway. Apologize because you yelled at me and you dropped the F-bomb. Yes, I did drop the F-bomb and told you I'm not stupid. That's what I told you. So I'm sorry. The F-bomb hurt your feelings. So sorry, baby. We're grown. <laughs> Whoa, now what's the mother from the cane deal, man? I really do appreciate you for pulling back up to the bootleg ass studio. Make sure you hit that like button on your way up in here. If it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you hadn't already, video of today, man, y'all check this out. We have a teacher at HBCU, Winston Salem State University, had a student arrested for raising her voice at her, is what the title reads. All right, so, um, I've already seen it. I already have somewhat of an opinion about it, I believe. We're gonna watch it. I'm gonna come back and let y'all get my take on it. You feel me? And then after that, y'all can leave me y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure you hit that like button. Let's jump up in this thing right now. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Now, as you see, the student was still acting belligerent, and the teacher, the professor, did say that she tried to de-escalate it. She tried to de-escalate it, and the te the student, in from what we got right now, this is just going off of what we got. The te the student is still being belligerent. I hate you. I hate you. You're the worst teacher ever. Yada 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 yada. Okay, now we got you stick around because we, we got an, a video of the student explaining her behalf. But, and then they try to pull a race card and then she tried to throw her GPA around. I'm bitch, I'm valedictorian. She's using vulgar language like, does a valedictorian act this way? You know, like, or, or, are you smelling yourself? But hit that like button. Let's see what she has to say about this. We had a group final, we had to write a paper, and uh, we had to also make up a skit for our group to present. It was seven of us. I did most of writing the skit just because I wanted to. It was easy and it was fun for me. Well, I thought it was easy. I did the essay as well. She um, got back to me late, six hours before we had to present, actually. She keep throwing around her uh, smartness, her brilliance. It was easy for me, and I thought, it, well, I thought it was easy, and uh, uh, whatever. Okay, but let's continue. Saying that my essay was completely wrong, and I should revise it, all this I'm just like, I'm not going back and redoing this essay. That took me two weeks, and you told me six hours before. I'm not redoing it. So I come into class and didn't say anything to her. She's talking. She's assigned us to our groups, and we're going to talk about what we're doing for the project before we actually have to do it. I We talked about that, and she was like, well, it is wrong, and you should redo it because it's going to greatly impact your grade. Um, once again, said I did not care about that because I'm only here to present with my group so that my group does not get a zero on this. So, boom, she starts getting loud. She starts yelling at me, telling me this is her class, so it doesn't matter what I think. Um, I'm getting loud back. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I got loud back. I was raising my voice, too. I'm like, Dr. V, like, you're yelling at me. I'm not going to redo it. I'm here to present with my group. Like, I'm here to get this done and get out at this police. Like, like they said, it is important because the black officer... He's, he's a very well-known officer on our campus. He's never given anybody any problems. He's actually pretty cool. And he was doing his best to not arrest me. He was trying to have a conversation. And 
um the white officer came in and was like yeah you're either gonna get out or i'm gonna have to get you out and i'm like okay at this point i'm like dr v you're gonna let them arrest me and she's like yes dr v dr villa gomez cynthia villa gomez the officer the black officer comes in he asks me what's going on i tell him everything the class is telling him everything as i'm telling my story my professor comes back in yes officer i want her taken out i'm like whoa he's like whoa i'm talking to her i'm listening to her so wait we're talking another officer comes in and he is a white officer he comes in and he's like okay so your options are your or no like you you're gonna get out of the class i'm gonna have to take you out and she's like wait hold on she's trying to like you know fix herself she's like okay um either apologize or you you need to leave i said apologize now the only i'm sure i would have apologized but at that, that moment i knew that i did not i was not going in the wrong i didn't start the situation i didn't escalate the situation i knew i was not wrong so i'm just like okay apologize for what apologize because you yelled at me and you dropped the f-bomb yes i did drop that bomb and so i'm not stupid that's what i told you so i'm sorry the f-bomb hurt your feelings so sorry baby we're grown if that was worth an arrest let me know let me know according to my mom it wasn't but continuing um i said dr b are you gonna apologize to me i didn't i came in i sat with my group i didn't say anything to you you decided to start yelling at me as soon as the fire alarm went off about my essay um so she was like no i'm not gonna apologize i'm like what so then i'm like wait well tell me what i'm apologizing for tell me what i'm apologizing for at that moment i'm talking to the black officer i'm talking to my professor the white officer is like yeah go ahead and take her you have to go get her to the black officer so the black officer is like okay turn around I'm to well there it is so you notice how disrespectful she's being dropping f-bombs and what have you the teacher the professor asked you to leave you're being disruptive to the rest of the class you're having a standoff with the class now where i come from when you are asked to leave the class you usually are dismissed go to the office whatever wherever you go now being arrested i you know that's a bit much being arrested, I can agree. That's a bit much. But being escorted out of the class by police is not unheard of. You know? That's not unheard of. You throwing around how smart you are. You're being very condescending and just snooty. You know? Like, you're being like, yeah, I, I'm sorry, that F-bomb. Like, what? What are we doing? You're, you're being, you're acting out. There's no excuses for that. You are a grown person now. This is what happens when you are acting out in the real world, young lady, Miss College student. This is what's going to happen. There are repercussions. Now, I don't agree with nobody mishandling you. You know, talk your shit, young black queen. You know, handle your business when it's time to handle your business. It sounds like you didn't want to do what you was told. You was told to redo the assignment. You should have redone the assignment. Or suffered the consequences of the zero that you would receive. We've all had to do it. We've all had to come handle business when it came to shit like that. In real world. If you are assigned a project, a task, and somebody is paying you for a service, they're not happy with their service. Guess what? You won't get paid. That's a, that's equivalent to a zero. Young ma'am, when you go out in the real world and you act out a fool, when you are being outrageous and disruptive to the community, they call it disturbing the peace. And all kinds of other things. When you are acting out in public, they do something with you. There's a thing called security. There's a thing called the police. There's a thing called jail. There's a thing called the those iron bars. Repercussions. Now, was she actually arrested? Was she taken and booked? Or was she just detained? I don't know. Either way, if she was arrested, that's a bit much. She didn't do anything to get arrested, I don't believe. Detained, escorted out of class. Yeah, I agree with that. Then they tried to pull the race card. Lady, ma'am, I'm a black, I'm all the way. I'm black in it, black, black, black. I got a song called Murder the Police. You know what I'm saying? Look it up. Matter of fact, maybe I, I put the link in the description. You feel me? Anyway, I'm just saying, like, I'm all the way, I'm riding for mine. But sometimes we 
like this young lady here try to use that at the wrong times. Like, nah, we use it when it's time to use it, when we're supposed to use it. But that ain't, nah. That, I, I, have, I have no um, inclination that that has anything to do with that, that child's race. I honestly don't. You know? I could be wrong. I'm only human. Don't be too hard on me. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. You feel me? If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. And if you're watching me on Facebook, make sure you get a page of follow as well. That cash out, dollar sign Sheldon, V-Y-B-E-Z, 903. That's Sheldon, V-Y-B-E-Z, 903. You feel me? YouTube, the algorithm, they ain't, give, they ain't treat me right on YouTube no more. You know what I'm saying? My numbers ain't doing like they used to do. But on Facebook, I'm doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? But these, these videos ain't, ain't monetized the way it was monetized you know what i'm saying so help your boy get them dollars you know what i'm saying but you just vibing kicking it shooting shit with me in the comment section that's enough for me you know what i'm saying make sure you hit that like button and share the video share with your friends your family you feel me anyway let me know what you think about this until next time i'm sharing vibes i'm gonna need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow stay light on your toes like you suppose <laughs> oh yeah and no. uh if you ain't fucking with my nigga sheldon nigga fuck you yeah Oh, God.